Calf Cop here. In this video, I'm going to be going over changing out the front fore end on my Seiga 12 shotgun. This is a shotgun that's based on the AK 47 design, and I was looking at replacing the fore end as one of the final steps in completing this build that I'm doing. I was looking at a Picatinny rail, looking at a Magpul, the 870 shotgun uh, stock they make can be fit on here. And Carolina Shooting Supplies, CSS, is a place that I bought a lot of the parts for this firearm for. Not sponsored or anything like that, but if you're looking for parts for an AK or a Sega 12, they're a company that you might want to look into. But I ended up getting a M-Lock rail system for it. It's a 10-inch rail. It's a little bit shorter. About, it might be a little bit longer than the stock that's on here. But they also have a 14-inch one. But because I have an 18-inch barrel, I just want a shorter rail that's lighter. I don't want a full Picatinny rail or anything too heavy. But let's go inside and we'll take a look at the uh, fore end and go through installing it on the shotgun. All right, so the first step is gonna be removing the stock off the Sega 12 gauge. Firearm has been cleared, no rounds in it. We're just gonna take off this front uh, sling swivel stock attaches to the gas tube. This is where the new stock is actually gonna to attach to as well, but they provide their own screws in the kit I believe and we should be able to just pull out the bolt and retainer for it all right we end up getting the handguard off and the handguard and this are no longer needed this bottom uh, screw hole right here that's part of the gas port system that's going to be one of the attachment points for the new handguard and then we're also going to have a piece that's going to fit in here in this little trunnion area but uh, we'll get into that here with the uh, handguard I'll show you what that is all right, so it comes with the handguard. Is the handguard rail itself pretty light? It weighs about five ounces, they say. Um, you're gonna have like a rear end and then the front end. This right here is gonna be the part that mounts up by the gas block. It comes with uh, this turbo fuse, kind of like a blue Loctite, I guess, and that'll be used on the uh, front mounting point. And then this right here is a rear piece that's gonna go towards the trunnion. This piece is gonna adapt into it as well. These two longer ones are going to go towards the forward bolt along with these shims that allow you to adjust it so that the height can be kind of centered because it could be a little bit off or crooked as far as being centered on the barrel, which we'll adjust that. Then these pieces right here are going to go into this, and I'll show you how this goes together here in a second. All right, so one of these screws is a little longer. I'm assuming it's the one that goes in here. These other two are going to go in the sides, but what ultimately it's going to end up doing is there's a little notch part in here. This is going to go in here. I'm going to put the square washers on the inside here, and then put the bolts through here. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished. All right, so we got the parts in here. Um, you can see the one, two, three. The bolts are in here and tightened on, and this is the part that's going to go up against the receiver part. And I did it snug, but not tightened all the way because I do want to test fit it and if I need to make adjustments I can loosen it and fidget it just a little bit if I need to but we'll go ahead and do a test fit if all that stuff lines up well then we're going to look at adding some washers and trying to figure out the spacers to center this alright so we're going to try and take this right here and fit it in and that's where it matches up on that side and then the big thing is just going to be centering this part right here but it seems to fit in pretty good so I'm going to snug it up and I'm going to end up probably putting two washers underneath here and we'll see probably end up using the shorter of the two screws they give you two screws for this but I'm going to use the shorter one and probably two washers and see if that does the gapping right to make sure it's centered all right so I got the bolt going through with two uh, shims or washers on there as spacers and basically just going to try and slide this on the barrel I'm going to go from the top and just slide it down. Get it matched in there. And then I'm just going to tighten up uh, this screw into the gas port area with the washers on it. All right, so I got it tightened down. Um, this right here is snug down. Overall, it seems pretty decent. The only issues that I see, and I may end up having to make some modifications to this, is there's a little bit of play to it right here. I don't know if that's normal, if I need to add a shim or something like that, but I installed it the way it's supposed to. And then also, there's a little bit of an adjustment here on the uh, slide thing, so you can slide it forward and back. 
normally under recoil things are going to slide forward so I'm kind of curious to see how well this holds on with it like this I don't know if I might need a shim piece or something like that put in here but I'll throw some accessories on this and we'll go outside and take a look at it with a few little things added on to it all right so I got the Seiga 12 I got the folding stock on here that I did it has a hoe grip on it factory magazine right now have the CSS uh, grip that I just put on or the handrail I just put on um, Bravo company manufacturing uh, BMC I ended up doing their panels on here the kind of plug-in ones for the M lock and then I added one of their short stubby uh, foregrips I ended up doing it reverse style theoretically kind of like the AKs had instead of doing it like Americans have it's kind of like the dongle that AKs are known for since the Seiga 12 gauge is based on the AK kind of set it up for that and let's see how this thing does there's a few changes I did to it so I want to test it out and see how it works but so far seems like a pretty good little setup let's see if we can get some shooting in not sure how well the drum will work but let's see Seems pretty good. Try one of the longer magazines other than the factory one. Like a champ. Let's see how it feeds regular old junk ammo and another extended magazine. Just gonna get back a little bit more here. All right, so the Seiga 12 gauge works pretty good. This is the first time I've shot it since I did a complete rebuild on it. Stripped it all the way down to the bare frame, actually spray painted it. Got a bunch of stuff from uh, Carolina Shooting Supplies to replace stuff on it. Uh, went with the Magpul Folding Zukov stock because I think it's kind of a neat stock setup. Bravo Company uh, Manufacturing, BMC, whatever it is, went with their little side grips on here. They just push into the Picatinny or the M lock slots. Gives a good, nice, soft grip. Doesn't add a lot of weight or any bulk. And then I went with their uh, front little mini uh, gunfighter grip type thing they have. The gas regulator's been changed out. Trigger was lightened to about three pounds, so it's pretty light trigger overall. Pistons and some other stuff are replaced. I think even the internal stuff and everything. But this gun right here, I feel comfortable if I had to use it for a home defense situation or for multiple attackers to defend my home. Normally I'm a pump shotgun guy, but this uh, Seiga 12 is pretty fun putting together. Ho grip as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Cav Cop out.